my goodness. Welcome to Everyday Kentucky. Listen, this entire week, we have had some amazing people sit in this seat and to then fill we, Jim we Caldwell. Today. Then we have today. And then we have today. <laughs> I mean, today is going to be great because I have the one and only, the Brian Milam sitting next to me. I mean, if you all do not know who this amazing man is, I hope you are catching our newscast in the evening so you can understand. I mean, this guy is all over the place just talking about sports, wow. uh, producing shows, editing shows. I mean, don't you film some of the stuff yourself? As Everything. Well? That's if what you I want it done right, you do it yourself. Look at you. And that's why you're the, the chief of sports. Okay, you've had, you've given me enough positive adjectives in the last 30 <laughs> seconds than I've had in the last 20 years. I'm just saying, because <laughs> I don't think they understand the magnitude of who you are and the, the wow. pull that you have here in WKYT. Well, that's why I'm here with you this I, morning. They went and said, all right, who's the last person we can it. get? So We have Victor Puente, I think, on Friday. Good call. <laughs> Well, Good here's point. another thing that I love. You're still in a suit. Yeah. What? This is not that kind of show. We're laid back. We're conversational. Well, I mean, then I guess the tide's coming <laughs> off here in a few minutes. What? Uh, Jim Caldwell, you know, Jimmy is it's big shoes to fill here. I don't think people understand that. Bigger than I thought years ago when when he was an 18 year old and we started working together 23 years ago. Last time I checked, your shoes are bigger than his. That's correct. Okay. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I am so glad that you are here. For people who don't know who you are, again, just give us a little background of the wonderful Brian Milam, oh, wow. if you don't mind. Okay, this is, again. Okay, so let's do a job interview. Go ahead yeah. and tell me a little bit about yourself, Brian. Well, thank you. From Louisville, <laughs> Kentucky. Yes. Uh, played baseball in Moorhead State many moons ago, as I tell people, way back in the 20th century. And I've uh, been doing TV since January 2nd of 98. Wow. And uh, 12 years in Eastern Kentucky at WYMT, 14 here. Wow. Since 2010, so it has been a heck of a ride. And the 14, the last 14, went much faster than the first 12. Yeah, I that bet means, they did. That means I'm 50. Stop it. Okay, <laughs> so a question. Yeah. What do you tell maybe students who want to grow up and still remain in that sports life? I know they're having a hard time right. with trying to figure out if they want to do sports or if they want to do reporting, and that's that little sweet spot. So what do you give maybe some students who are growing up and, and want to go walk into your footsteps? Never stop learning, never stop reading, never stop. Um, I, I think one thing that we see all the time is, uh, well, you know, I'm off today. You're never really off if you're doing this job because if you're in the public eye, people see you, they want to talk to you. If you're at home, you get the text messages. Hey, what do you think the cats are going to do? Mm -hmm. You're never truly off, but you also can never stop not learning. And, um, you know, and we're going to learn more about people today in the African American Hall of Fame. Yeah. And a lot of people that, when you're a Hall of Famer, means you've done something special. Mm -hmm. And this is a unique group. That's uh, this year, and, and that will join greats from the past. And you got to know where you came from if you got to know where, if you want to know where you're going to go. Yeah. So there's Great a lot of there. well, that, again, for my grandmother. So <laughs> she, you know, <laughs> I plagiarized it. That's okay, but that was really great advice, especially for students who just want to learn the business and they never know what to do. You know, they they start off sometimes in college or they they just jump into the field and they're like, well, what do I do with myself? Yeah. But this is definitely a sweet spot. And you've mastered it. Well, I don't know about that because you never stop learning again yeah. and uh, you know earlier in the last half hour we had that story about the Transformers movie mm -hmm. and nobody in here had ever heard of the Transformers cartoon from the 80s I'm the only person in here that's watched this thing oh you didn't watch it you're not old enough are you kidding me yeah. from the 80s that's you right, didn't know kid. I was born in the 80s in but you didn't live <laughs> through it you didn't experience it <laughs> I'm not fighting with you. I just want you to know that. Well, I'm trying to fill in for Jim. Because you know me and him love a good fight. I know. Speaking of a good fight, we have two <laughs> fights that we love to say here. Okay, is Die Hard a Christmas movie in your opinion? No, just because there's a Christmas tree in there doesn't make it a Christmas movie. This is why I love you, Brian Milo. Thank okay, you. and so is it Halloween or Halloween? It's however you want it to be. Ah! <laughs> Halloween, Halloween. You say Halloween. Halloween. Okay. Not Halloween. It's Halloween. That's all right. All right. Well, that's where we split. All I that's know the is, only time where we split. All I know is the day it's on is October 31st. That's all I know. Wow. I used to get into Christmas. I used to get into Halloween. It was like a Christmas. And then just kind of like, you know, move a, move along. So. Did you hear yeah. Madison and yeah, I Yeah, I heard. Caramel or caramel? It's caramel. Thank you. 
That's why. Because he's from Louisville. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right? Louisville. Three syllables. I'm sick of you. <laughs>